What's good, y'all? It's Terrible Shooter here. Um, today's video, I wanted to go over um, shotgun shells. It's very important to know what shotgun shell you're getting for your home defense shotgun, um, especially if you are in the market for uh, a home defense shotgun. It's very important to know what gauge your shotgun is and what shotgun shells you're gonna need um, it could be very intimidating, especially if it is your first time uh, getting a shotgun. What I have here is uh, some double R buckshot. Fiocchi. Fiocchi. Fiocchi! That's Cantonese for my, my Asian brothers out there. <laughs> These are made in Italy. It's a joke. Anyway, so when you get your uh, your ammunition, your, your, uh, your shotgun shells for your shotgun, you're gonna see a couple of different numbers here that is gonna be very confusing. I highly recommend you ask, you know, one of the uh, the salesperson. So on the box here, um, you'll see 12 gauge. You'll see uh, two and two and three quarter length. You'll see nine pellets, and you'll see FPS. What I had to do when I grabbed when I got my shotgun was um, I had to see what gauge it was it's a 12 gauge you'll see that it says 12 gauge here and you'll see the inch it says three it's a three inch chamber now on the box here you'll see that it says 12 gauge and you'll see the length is two and three quarter length so that's an indicator that i have the correct shotgun shells for my shotgun 12 gauge this is 12 gauge and the length cannot exceed three inches because this is a uh, this is a three inch chamber and say if uh, you got a 20 gauge shotgun and you put a smaller shotgun shell in that shotgun but you risk having the shotgun shell get lodged inside of the barrel which would cause a lot of issues um, I don't want to say the barrel would explode uh, but you, it, it could be very 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 bad for your shotgun you don't want to damage your firearm so um, it's very important to make sure that you get the correct size shell uh, for your shotgun. If you're getting a 12 gauge shotgun, you wanna make sure you get some shotgun shells that are made for your 12 gauge shotgun. It'll indicate it, it will indicate the gauge on the box as well. Um, so what I also did was I uh, took the liberty of uh, cutting this uh, shotgun shell apart so you can see uh, what it looks like some ignition material that'll catch fire and then you have this plastic spring that's in here that will expand and then from the top here your shells will uh, explode outward um, these are the pellets okay on the box here it says nine pellets there's nine pellets that was inside of the shotgun shell here now this number here the fps feet per second the higher the number, the faster these shotgun shells are gonna uh, come out. So this is good for, again, home defense. Um, if someone's breaking into your door, say if you're in the living room, that's about 10 to, 10 to 12, 15 feet, depending on how big your living room area is, this is good to have a faster velocity. The only thing is, is that the faster the velocity of uh, the shotgun show is that these pellets can get deformed. They can melt. If something's moving fast, something's coming at you really quickly, you want to be able to get shots on target. So I got my shotgun here. All right. So if you were to load this, right? See how that shell drops right in there? I got one shell ready to go. This shell is a two and three quarter inch shell. This chamber is three inches, so this will fit perfectly fine inside there. If this shell was more than three inches, it wouldn't fit inside here. You would have an issue. You wanna make sure that you get double R buckshot. This is the more popular and more recommended uh, shotgun shell to get for home defense. You don't wanna get a uh, bird shot. They're not going to give you that penetration power that you're looking for. So if you were to hit somebody 
and nine of these pellets were to just spread out in this you know diameter this hole here you're going to stop them just imagine putting this over your stomach or your chest and you got nine of these pellets coming at you so fast at 1325 feet per second you're going to stop you're going to be able to stop that target moving like immediately unless they're on crack or something like that um that's all i got for you today is terrible shooter just a little quick video one last thing I want to share with you guys before I close this video out is that take your shotgun to the range and practice shooting at different distances because you'll notice that the spread could go from here to here to a very tight uh, spread. That'll give you an idea of how your shotgun functions at certain distances. Why would you want to know this? Let's say someone breaks into your home, right? and say they're near one of your loved ones. If, if you know that your shotgun will spread, let's say this far apart, right? And your loved one is right next to that intruder and say you're about at 13 feet away from them, you kinda wanna, you know, be conscious of how that spread is gonna be by the time it hits the intruder because you could possibly hit your loved one. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I mean by taking your shotgun to the range and practicing at different uh, distances to see, you know, how, how the spread looks and so you can get an idea of how your shotgun functions. Um, one thing that could help with that is you could add a choke to your shotgun. It'll just tighten the spread. But that's all I got for you today. Uh, terrible Shooter signing out. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Please share this video. It helps the channel. Comment below. Let me know uh, how you guys uh, practice with your shotgun or what you recommend, what you know, ammunition, ammunition that you use. I know that this particular shotgun shell is, is uh, kind of on the lower end, but it will still do the job. So thanks for tuning in. Get at you later. Peace.